Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So now to this tutorial, I'm going to show you the source code of the OTP mobile number verification screen. So as you can see, this is the screen where you can enter your mobile number and you can use this screen for your application or you can make some changes into this. So I'll just enter my mobile number here and from this drop down, you can select your country. By default, it's India and enter your mobile number and you just need to click on this generate OTP button. And once you click on that, it will take you to the next screen and it will send that OTP to your mobile number. So this is only the UI design part, uh, the other things you need to implement. So here you need to enter your uh, OTP, let's say 6 digit OTP. And to submit the OTP, you just need to click on verify button. And if you want uh, again the OTP, you can click on the send button. So these are the two screens UI design of OTP, OTP verification. So without wasting much time, let's see the source code. So to get this uh, UI design, you just need to go to Chrome or uh, let's say Safari uh, and search for mobile number verification UI, which is created by Shashank. Uh, and uh, as you can see here in some screenshots, the UI design of the APK that I had shown you, right? Uh, and to get this source code, you just need to uh, download the zip file from here, or you can just clone this repository into your Android uh, Studio. And once you do that, just go head back to your Android Studio project and you will see here two files, the main activity files. So these are the two screens that we are having. So you can just go to like uh, activity and just, uh, XML, <coughs> main XML and here you can see the UI designing part. Right, here we have created a custom toolbar and everything has been done using XML code. The most of the part is in XML code and from the main activity using java they had just controlled uh, the mobile number and the otp uh, that uh, text part and the uh, mobile number verification part that uh, it should be the valid mobile number and the intent so in this way you can get the source code of uh, this otp verification screen and hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching